Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Cranston, Rhode Island, where the Long Island Auditor, a.k.a. Sean Paul Reyes, is attempting to audit a prison parking lot. Sean, don't you have anything better to do than, like, being a doorstop somewhere? Because that's about as useful as filming a prison parking lot and just annoying the hell out of people. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So as you can see right here, we have a restricted area sign, authorized personnel only, all vehicles and persons subject to search, all intake center visitor parking, this way, to the left. So I'm assuming the restricted area is to go straight. And that would be restricted as you can see the other sign right there. So as always, we never want to break the law. That is never our intention. Yeah, sure, Sean. You never intentionally break the law. I mean, how many times have you been arrested for not intentionally breaking the law? I mean, I've lost count. Our intentions are to peacefully exercise our constitutional rights. So we're not going to go into any restricted areas. Let's go into the visitor lot over here. Let's take a look around. We have a sign here that says videotaping and still photos are strictly prohibited. That is just a sign. There's no statute associated with it. So we are on public property. Anything we can, anything we can see from public, we can take pictures of. Man, oh man, you gotta love the misinterpretation of the plain view doctrine that these complete imbeciles spout off. And secondly, just because that sign doesn't have a statute attached to it doesn't mean it's not valid. Just take a look at these signs you see all over the place. They don't have any statutes on them at all, and yet they are still enforceable. But of course, if Chile de Castro had his way, there would be no such thing as stop signs anyway, because he probably considers them tyranny. But at any rate, let's continue on with the show, shall we? So, again, we don't break any laws, but that's not a law. Absolutely massive facility here. There's video over there, right? Excuse me? Signs all over the place, not the video. Oh, I'm just taking some pictures and video. Yeah, you're not supposed to. Oh, the sign right there strictly prohibited. Is that a law? Yeah, it's a law. What, what well, law is that? Don't get us in it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, why would you start talking to the person with the camera if you didn't want to be on one? Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. I know that. What's his name? That is his name, sir. Asshole. Major asshole. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> why don't you go run to the uh, your protectors inside and tell them that I'm breaking a policy? Because it's not a law. Because I'm an effing idiot for exercising my rights. Sir, you can't be doing that, okay? Who are you, sir? Sir, you can't be doing that. You see that video sign over there? May I get your name and badge number, please, sir? Why? I'd like to know the name and badge numbers of all the public servants that come in contact with me. Why? For accountability and transparency purposes, sir. May I get your name and badge number? Right there. See that video? See? That's not See? your name no, or badge number. No oh, I, I've already there. I've already recorded that sign, sir. Okay, then you know you're not supposed to. So if I call the state police and they come down here and they take you off, then I'm sorry, sir, but this is Sean Paul Reyes you're talking to. He's not exactly the sharpest knife in the drawer. No, not at all. So you might as well go ahead and drive away from this nitwit before you lose a bunch of brain cells yourself. I mean, it's contagious with him. So carry on. Sir, can I get your name and badge number, please? I'm not falling in for that trap, all right? It's a trap to identify yourself to a yes. member of the public? Yes. Really? That's interesting. It's a trap to identify yourself to a member of the public. Ridiculous, really. This is, you can't make these kinds of interactions up. You truly can't. Sir, how is it a trap to give me your name and badge number? How is that a trap, officer? How is it a trap to give me your name and badge number and be professional with members of the public? 
Capitol Police will be down. You know, I wish I could say that ignoring Sean Paul Reyes is a good idea, but it's not exactly the best idea because he'll be back and he'll be even more annoying to you. Hey, how are you? How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? You up too. I'll just take some pictures and video. Uh, yeah. Can I get your name and badge number, please? Yeah, Officer Fogarty, badge 23. Nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Sean, by the way. Yeah. Um, just taking some pictures and video of the facility here. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm just coming because you're wearing a bulletproof vest, so they, you got the attention you wanted, so... This is a utility vest. Utility? Oh, yeah, okay. it's it a looks utility. Like one, though. You get why that would look like that, right? It's a utility vest. I used to hold all my batteries and cameras and everything oh, gotcha, else. Yeah, gotcha. You see the camera? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. Um, so what's your plan? Just take some video? Just take some pictures and video out in public here. Hopefully I don't get any reaction, officer. Sean, we all know that's a bloody lie. I mean, your whole channel is about uh, causing conflict. I mean, if you had nobody to confront, you would have no channel. I mean, that's all you are is, well, to be perfectly honest, a prank channel at best. Sorry there. Oh, yeah, I recorded it already. Oh, yeah. So yeah, so I, saw it. I saw the sign, yeah. yeah. I saw the sign when I pulled up. But there's no, no, because there's no statute associated with that sign. It's just a sign. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that, it, <laughs> Right? It's just a sign. It's a sign because this is a government building. A public building. It's a public, I mean, it's not really public. You can't enter the building without... You can't enter the building, but it's, it's got, it's funded by the taxpayers. This is public property. I'm yes. not, I'm not going, my intention is not to go and break inside of a correctional facility. What are your intentions? To take po pictures and video from public. Yeah, but I, my name is Sean. You I told know, you. There's no video required here. So well, no, I, I I saw that I saw that sign as though. I saw that sign as soon as I I came up here, and I I understand that they anybody could put a sign. You could put a sign that there was, you know, no people of color coming into this building. Whatever the case may be, it could be. Ah, uh, yet again, more faulty reasoning on the part of Sean Paul Reyes. This time, it takes the. Uh, form of the false equivalence fallacy where you compare apples to oranges really sean you're gonna bring race into this issue when it's nothing more than an issue of security on their part i mean what you're actually proposing would indeed be a crime against civil rights while a uh, video recording on the property is a matter of security issues there is no comparison dude that's a false equivalency right there any type of sign you could put up there, but that doesn't make it lawful, and it doesn't make that it's it doesn't mean that it's attached to any sort of statute. So you're, you're not going to be allowed to video TV, though. So what lawful reason can I not video? Because I have a constitutional protected right of First Amendment under the yeah, for for freedom of press. Spit the laws out. Um, I mean, spitting the laws out as a law enforcement officer, yeah. it kind of seems like that would that's <laughs> what you want, right? Yeah, but when it's when video is restricted here. But that's not a law. You're a law enforcement officer. It's not a law. If you could find me a law that says I can't video here, I would, you know, we could talk then. I, I, don't, I don't see how a law can override the United States Constitution that you took an oath, right? Well, now, Sean, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but while you may not see the statute to tie, attached to that sign, they most, most certainly do exist, and they do govern the use of recording devices within that facility and govern the use of cell phones and other stuff like that. So, dude, you really need to go do your research. But I know he's going to end up uh, being allowed to film on this property anyway. I mean, at least he doesn't get to go in the prison itself. But uh, if you give a fraud an inch, he's going to inevitably try to take the mile. And eventually he's going to come back and want to film in the prison. I am sure of that. But let's carry on. When you went to the courthouse the other day, then they kicked you out. What was, what was your... Uh... Oh, I left voluntarily under, under threat of arrest. Yes. They, they'll, be, they'll be getting, they'll, they'll, they'll be getting a, well, that's a federal lawsuit. Well, wow, Sean. Just how many more fake lawsuits are you going to have under your belt that don't go anywhere? I mean, so far you have uh, should have uh, about at least a hundred of them under your belt, but how many of them have actually gone anywhere? I don't know. I mean, I've lost count. 
trying to tell you that's what's end up going to happen here because you're not allowed to videotape here, so you can just. But there's that's, there's a difference because we there was always, a judge's there's a judge's order. Be busy then. Like that's I'm just telling you that's what's. That's there's the a judge's here. there's a judge's order in in the courthouse apparently that we'll find that out in the lawsuit. But yeah. there's no order here. There's no law. So no, what what for I don't what work reason? Directly for the prison, but okay. I understand that they that is what they're saying that there is. So I don't know that specific policy that they have, but I'm sure it's very similar with the one that the judge has. So well, a judge's order is a lot different than a policy. Well, no, yeah, well, it's, it's the judicial system right there, so it's 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 going to be similar for a judge's order versus. Can a I policy. speak to a supervisor? Yeah, let me see if I can get one here for you. Oh, sure. <laughs> my supervisor or a prison supervisor? Any kind of supervisor that would know, probably your supervisor, law enforcement, because correctional officers aren't law enforcement officers, right? I want to speak to your. You know, this video is rather long, and therefore I'm just going to go ahead and skip the part where the supervisor does actually arrive. So let's uh, roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? Many unbearable hours later. Hey, how are you doing, sir? We just went out. We got a call from someone with a bulletproof vest walking around outside. Oh, it's a utility vest. It's not a oh, bulletproof okay. vest. It's a utility vest just to hold my camera and my batteries and gotcha. stuff. That's all. You mind if I get your name and badge number? Are you just are you just taking video of the, the intake building just for like a First Amendment kind of check? Yeah, just okay. just taking some pictures of video as, we a, as a journalist. We just wanted to make sure that it wasn't anything. We got a call. It looked like a uh, bulletproof vest from the people that called in, so that's why we're here. So okay, no, yeah, because he had, he didn't mention the officer here. Are, are you law enforcement? State police. State police. Yeah. And your name, sir? What's that? Just your name and badge number. State police. There are there are. Can I get your names and badge numbers? There are restricted areas. I just want to know who I'm speaking to badge first. Badge one thirty seven. 43? Yeah. Just, there are restricted areas. Oh, I see the signs. signs. Yeah, I see so the signs. you don't go in there, help yourself out, all right? Yeah, sure, no problem. And maybe if you could let him, uh, the correction officer there know. He's just there, can see the restricted area? No, but he came He came when I was over here. So just so you let him know, maybe educate him a little bit, and we can, you know. Also, the sign the video taken is still for restricted I know, but it, you know that there's no law associated with that sign. Just, just. It doesn't override the Constitution. Areas, we'd appreciate it. Yeah, I don't plan on going to restricted areas, sir. Have a great day. My name's Sean. What's your name? Adam. Adam. Nice to meet you, Adam. Take care, gentlemen. You guys have a great day. Stay safe out there. You got away this time with, with the lawsuit on your name. I'll get you next time. <laughs> oh, come on now. Sean, you think there are no uh, laws against what you're doing in that facility? I mean, come on now. What I showed up here earlier may not have been the exact law that was needed to prove your sorry ass wrong, but it does involve the inmates and uh, getting access to them via recordings and everything like that. Uh, but I'm sure if you did a little bit more research, Sean, that you would be able to find the law itself. I mean, it may be buried under some other laws that you've got to read through, but I'm sure it's there. I'm sure they've got it covered because this is something that they deal with every freaking day. And Sean, I'm sure, like I said before, that if, since you've gotten that inch, you're going to eventually take that mile. And uh, you're going to be back here and you're going to try to get into that facility to film as much as you can. And I hope you do. And they, I hope they haul your bar butt away in handcuffs. But something tells me that's going to be a long time before that happens because you're going to have to build up your uh, courage and you're going to have to take it one step at a time. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.